This video will discuss reversible reactions in chemical kinetics. So a reversible reaction is a reaction which can proceed in the forward and backward direction. So an example here is we have reactant A and product B, and this has some rate constant in the forward direction, K1, and it has some rate constant in the backward direction, K minus 1. So at equilibrium, the change in the concentration of species A over time is equal to, which is equal to the negative change in concentration of species B with respect to time, those are both equal to zero at equilibrium. So at equilibrium, what we say is that we have achieved a dynamic equilibrium where the concentration of B divided by the concentration of A, which are going to be the equilibrium values of one another, is equal to our equilibrium constant. Okay, so when that is the case, uh, when that's not the case, we, ha we have our uh, rates that we can use to determine how fast those are changing. So our reaction rate minus dA dt is equal to K1 times the concentration of A, that's the forward rate constant times the concentration of A, minus K minus 1 times the concentration of B our reverse reaction rate constant times the concentration of B. Um, here we're just assuming that the reaction, the forward and reverse reaction are first order in A and B uh, respectively. Okay, so let's assume that at time equals zero, that the concentration of A equals A naught and the concentration of B equals zero. This means that the concentration of B as a function of time equals a naught minus a of t. So now we have minus dA dt equals k1 times a minus k minus 1 times concentration of b is a naught minus a. So this is equal to, if we factor things out, k1 plus k minus 1 times the concentration of a minus k minus 1 times the concentration of a initially. So if we separate variables and integrate, what you'll get for an integrated rate law in this case is that the concentration of A as a function of time is equal to the equilibrium concentration of A plus the initial concentration of A minus the equilibrium concentration of A times E to the minus K1 plus K2, or sorry, K1 plus K minus 1. Let's fix that. There we go k1 plus k minus 1 times t. So at equilibrium, as we saw, k1 times a equilibrium equals k minus 1 times b equilibrium. So b equilibrium over k equilibrium equals k1 over k minus 1, which is also equal to our equilibrium constant. So for our reversible reactions here, our equilibrium constant is equal to our forward rate constant divided by our backward rate constant. The equilibrium constant is, gives the ratio of the forward and reverse rate constants, and also the ratio of those constants tells us what the equilibrium concentrations of A and B are. So another interesting thing of note here is that the rate constant of this reaction, the effective rate at which it equilibrates, it's, actually, it's not the difference of the rate constants, it's actually their sum. So as K1 gets bigger, the reaction gets faster, but as K minus one gets bigger, the reaction approaches equilibrium faster as well. So increasing either the forward or the reverse rate constant will increase, sorry, will increase the rate at which the concentration of our species approaches their equilibrium value. 